We have been serving the area's floral needs for generations. I invite you to come and explore all that Littlefields has to offer, from weddings to funerals, birthdays to graduation, and any special occasion. Littlefields can help you say it with flowers. Visit Littlefields Flowers and Gifts on Main Street in South Paris. Call us at 743-6301. Since 1934, we have been experts in the art of expression. My name is Dave Cowens. I live in Maine, and I am a Norway Savings Bank customer. I'm also a former professional basketball player and coach from Boston. I teamed up with Norway Savings because they are driven, passionate, and they play fair. Believe me, you never have to worry about the small print with Norway Savings. They even have a free checking account. That's actually free. No kidding. No hidden fees. So join me and team up with Norway Savings Bank. You must deposit $25 to open a free solutions checking account. Norway Savings is an equal housing lender. Member FDIC. In a time when more of our daily lives are tied to computer screens and smartphones, the need for resources to keep our youth active and unplugged is greater than ever. That's why the Oxford Hills Athletic Boosters are committed to raising money to help support our area youth sports programs. Only through the willingness of volunteers to donate their valuable time to assist the boosters can they continue to help ensure that our kids don't miss out on all the benefits of participating in team sports. So make today the day that you visit OxfordHillsAthleticBoosters.org to find out what you can do to keep your kids moving. Go Vikings! Welcome back. Main Spear Country OXO. It's high school basketball. Final game before Christmas break here for us here on the 92.7 side of things. 100.7 tonight, Mountain Valley Booth Bay Girls. I think that's the last game for them until next Wednesday, so... We'll be back at it next week, too. We'll give you a schedule later. Chevrus is undefeated on the season. They're in tonight, taking the once-beaten Oxford Hills Vikings. Matt Belt with John Gilson with you here. It's the Hammond Lumber Game of the Week. Video stream is brought to you by Orthopedic Associates Experience in Motion. You can watch the video online at mbr.org. John, these are the matchups. You know, we had Portland come in last week, and I think some of the youngsters on Oxford Hills got their feet wet a little bit in terms of what they're going up against when they play AA competition. They then went on the road, had a free-throw shooting competition with Wyndham, from what I hear. Uh, 72 free throws from what I, wow. I, I was that, told. That's a lot of, a yeah, lot of foul shots. It's a few. It, it's a couple. Um, what are you expecting tonight against a good Chevrolet squad? I think we're going to see a very disciplined Chevrolet squad. Um, they have a very good backcourt in Jack Castle and Austin Boudreaux. Look to see them uh, shoot from the long distance. They also have Andrew Roberts, who is a big, and Luca Napolitano. So those are a couple names that just for Oxford Hills to look for and make sure that they're Ding them up. Rebounds obviously is always a big thing. Can't give a strong Chevrolet team second and third chance opportunities. And like we've been saying all year, foul shots. Foul shots across the state is down. The percentages are below 60%. So our Vikings, if we want, if we're gonna come in, with, come out of here with a win tonight, we need to rebound and hit our foul shots. We'll see what happens. We'll have more coming up. It's a pregame show. We're about eight minutes away from introductions and the Star Spangled Banner here at Oxford Hills Comprehensive High School. It's Oxford Hills Chevrolet Boys Basketball. It's Maine's Pier Country OXO. It's been a good year for the people at Hammond Lumber Company as they celebrate the 62nd anniversary of their main family business. All three generations of Hammonds and the more than 400 people who work alongside them appreciate your ongoing support. The Hammond folks feel privileged to serve contractors, homeowners, and do-it-yourselfers throughout the state. For the greatest gift of all is to be part of the Maine community. If they can help you with anything as we move into next year, please drop into any Hammond Lumber store in southern, coastal, central, or northern Maine. You can also call 1-866-HAMMOND toll-free to connect with the store nearest you, or look around online at HammondLumber.com. Meanwhile, please stay warm and happy during the holidays and enjoy your family and friends. And thanks from everyone at Hammond Lumber. Hello, sports fans. This is Steve from Service Master Clean, the folks in the yellow van. Hopefully, you'll never have to experience a disaster such as a fire or flood striking your home or business. But if you do, we're here to help you get your life back to normal. Call us at 539-4452 for 24-hour emergency service. For both commercial and residential disaster restoration to carpet cleaning, floor refinishing, and more, 
you can be confident knowing that Service Master Clean has over 50 years of experience and will do the job right. Service Master has moved right down the road from our Main Street location, but we can always be reached at 539-4452. For any disaster, call Service Master. With over 60 years of housing experience, Twin Town Homes can put you in a brand new home of your own. Let Twin Town Homes custom design and build a home that fits your family's needs and budget. Call 539-8881. For single wides, ranches, capes, and colonials, Twin Town Homes will help you select a perfect home. Visit Twin Town Homes on Route 26 in Oxford or see them on the web at TwinTownHomes.com. We're here with Joe Galletta from Ripley and Fletcher Ford. And Joe, being a small town dealer with small town values, it's all about how you treat your customers, right? You know, it does sometimes sound like everybody's trying to reinvent themselves to be a small town dealer. You know, at Ripley and Fletcher Ford, we don't have to reinvent anything. This is the same formula we've always used. Set the customer's expectations high and then meet those expectations and you end up with a satisfied customer every time. Ripley and Fletcher Ford, 80 Main Street in South Paris, online at ripleyandfletcherford.com. Oxford County's premier dealer since 19. 19- this Viking Sports Broadcast is brought to you in part by Dave Small Engine Repair in Oxford, your local Aaron's dealer. Hi, this is Dave Patrick. Why shovel this winter when you can have a new Aaron snowblower? They're built right and engineered for durability. Hurry in now to Dave Small Engine and check out our entire line of Aaron snowblowers offering unparalleled performance and a great price to boot. Visit Dave Small Engine Repair at 910 Main Street, Route 26 in Oxford. Hi, this is Ryan Lavertier. Monica, the team, and I are proud to help make this broadcast of Oxford Hills basketball possible. With over 100 years of combined experience in the Oxford Hills, our team can help you buy or sell residential and waterfront homes, land, and commercial property. Check us out on the web at barefootrealty.com and like us on Facebook or call 539-6060. We're Barefoot Realty, 698 Main Street in Oxford, and we're dedicated to growing the Oxford Hills. This Vikings game is brought to you in part by the Big Rig Shop in Oxford, supporting Oxford Hill Sports. Everyone at the Big Rig Shop takes this time to salute the efforts of the Vikings and wishes them the best of luck. Go Vikings! That's the message from the Big Rig Shop in Oxford. Oxford Federal Credit Union helps make sense of banking and money. Their Free For Me account is the ultimate account for 18 to 25 year olds. Instead of strict rules and requirements, OFCU offers perks that give you a head start. There's no minimum balance or monthly fees. And with their mobile app, I can deposit checks right from my smartphone or tablet. Just snap, tap, and deposit. It's that easy. Open your free for me account at OFCU.org. Because your memories matter, put them in the hands of a professional at Photography by Trish Logan in Norway. Trish specializes in children, high school seniors, families, and business professionals, and also offers many other studio services. Create beautiful home decor with your portraits and preserve your family memories forever with high-quality images that last for generations. Photography by Trish Logan, Maine's award-winning premier portrait studio, is conveniently located across from Oxford Hills Comprehensive High School in Norway, Maine. For more information, visit TrishLogan.com. Welcome back. Matty Beltwell, John Gilson with you here. Maine's Pure Country OXO. Undisclosed camera guy here as well. Of course, you can watch the video online at mbr.org. We'll keep you updated on the girls' scores. I believe the girls. The girls are at Chevrolet tonight, right? I assume you know these things. Yes. You're all plugged into the community. You know these things. Okay. That's good. And, uh, of course, we'll also keep you updated on other scores around the state tonight as well. Lots of teams getting ready to go into Christmas break, so it'll be a lot of games tonight. I know Rangeley had a girl-boy doubleheader tonight that started at 5 o'clock, so they're doing them everywhere. But there are a few games tomorrow night, but most of them are all tonight. So stay tuned for that. And, of course, whatever scores you don't hear on the air, you can check out later. Just go to mbr.org. You get the scores, you get the recaps, you get everything else you would need as well. We'll have more coming up. It's a pregame show live from Oxford Hills Comprehensive High School. The 4-1 and Oxford Hills Vikings with Andrew Fleming looking for his 1,000th career point. Taking on the Chevre Stags who are currently 5-0. and oh. We'll have more coming up live from Oxford Hills Comprehensive High School. We'll have tip-off and starting lineups for you here on OXO. Maurice Restaurant in South Paris invites you to enjoy a delicious, affordable lunch every Tuesday through Friday from 11 to 1.30. Choose from daily specials and a great lunch menu. 
Brunch is served every Sunday from 11 to 2. Maurice Restaurant also serves dinner from 4 p.m. daily, closed Monday. Plus, visit them on the web at mauricerestaurant.com and register to receive their latest promotional specials. Maurice Restaurant on Main Street in South Paris, where casual attire is welcome. This Viking Sports Broadcast is brought to you in part by Jordan's Garage in Oxford. If your car needs fixing, bring it to Jordan's Garage, and they'll get you on the road again in no time. Jordan's Garage offers general automotive repair on all makes and models of cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs. And at Jordan's Garage, they even specialize in Volkswagen and Audi service and repair. Call them at 539-8465. That's 539-8465. Visit Jordan's Garage at 693 Main Street, Route 26 in Oxford. Go Vikings! At home or on the go, you'll find Rainbow Federal Credit Union is with you every step of the way with home banking and mobile banking. Obtain current account balances, view account histories, make transfers between accounts, view recently cleared checks, and a whole lot more. And best of all, it's free for all members. Sign up today. Stop by Rainbow's offices in Lewiston, Auburn, Mechanic Falls, and South Paris, or on the web at rainbowfcu.com. Member eligibility required. Rainbow Federal Credit Union is an equal housing lender and insured by NCUA. Rainbow, here for you. The Oxford Hills and South Paris Dunkin' Donuts are proud sponsors of high school sports. Enjoy delicious coffee, hot chocolate, breakfast, and anytime sandwiches, wraps, donuts, muffins, and more. Visit your local Oxford Dunkin' Donuts locations at 467 Main Street and 1240 Main Street. Stop by your local South Paris Dunkin' Donuts at 169 Main Street. And remember, Oxford Hills runs on Dunkin'. Did you know CN Brown Company has been offering energy savings and the value you deserve for over 65 years and it just keeps getting better? Now you can bundle and save when you enroll in CN Brown Electricity and Premium Red Shield Heating Oil. Customers save an additional five cents on every gallon. Bundle that with their outstanding Big Apple Rewards program and absolutely no one offers more than CN Brown Company. Locally owned and operated all over northern New England. Reach them at cnbrown.com. Oxford Hills Comprehensive High School Sports for lunch or supper, visit Polly's Variety in Oxford for pizza by the slice or a whole pizza, subs or grinders. And while you're there, pick up grocery items. Check out a wide variety of deli meats, cheeses, and veggies, all at great prices. For great pizza as well as breakfast sandwiches, subs, and grinders, call Polly's at 539-8254 with all the conveniences of a convenience store. Reasonably priced and a friendly staff. Go to Polly's Variety on King Street, Route 121 in Oxford. When there's a big game on the line, you want experience. Always send it to four convenient locations in Brunswick, Portland, Saco, and Wyndham. You have a choice. Board certified, nationally recognized. That's OA. Experience in motion. Online at orthoassociates.com. Hi, this is Gene Banner of Bessie Motors announcing our continued support of the youth of the Oxford Hills. Once again, Bessie Motors will be sponsoring the player of the game. At Bessie Motors, we feel that lessons learned on the playing field will be valuable in developing our future leaders. Good luck to all of our scholar athletes from Bessie Motors. Bessie Motors, South Paris, Maine. There's never been a better time to buy than right now at Goodwin Chevrolet Buick in Oxford. Hi, this is General Sales Manager Chris Harper, inviting you to stop in and check out our great selection of new cars, trucks, and crossovers. Odds are we're going to be able to save you thousands. Looking to save even more money? Be sure to check out our ever-changing selection of pre-owned vehicles. Remember, at Goodwin Chevrolet Buick, you'll always find the bottom line deal. Come see us at Goodwin Chevrolet Buick on Route 26 in Oxford. Call 743-8944 or see us on the web at GoodwinOxford.com. This Viking game is brought to you in part by Bolster Monumental Works in Oxford, serving Western Maine since 1877. Choose from a wide selection of monuments in many sizes, colors, and styles, and save money when you buy direct from the craftsman. Plus, Bolster Monumental Works now offers cremation urns. With over 30 years' experience, David does it all. From custom etchings and lettering to setup and cleaning, all services are guaranteed. Visit David at Bolster Monumental Works, 1278 Main Street in Oxford. You've got the right station for Maine's Pure Country, 92.7 WOXO, Norway, L.A., Brunswick, and WTBM, Mexico, Farmington, Augusta, Maine's Pure Country Station, OXO.
Welcome back. Tip off by Andrew Fleming to Jake Beauchene, and we are underway. First possession, Oxford Hills works it around. Good step around by Jake Missed Beauchene. a bucket, and we're underway. <laughs> Welcome back, 2-0 Vikings early. Quick bucket, and we're underway. Chevers has the basketball. They're in the purple uniforms. High off of nothing, and the air, <laughs> the air ball comes down into the hands of Varia. Fleming's first shot, uh, baseline jumper there, no good. Falls off the rim. Rebound comes down to Chevers. Andrew looking to get a shot quick there, and might have. He's going to pick up a cheap foul on the rebound. Oh, good. This might be a long night, Matty. I think it's going to be. We're going to be able to get a lot of spots in during uh, free throws tonight, I bet. 7 0 remaining in the first quarter. It's 2 0 Vikings. Chevis works it around. That's Luke Napolitano who has the ball right now. And now over to Jack Casal. Austin Boudreau has the ball currently. Up towards center court, now dribbles in front of the Vikings bench. Napolitano with a fadeaway, lands on the ground and it goes down, tied it two. He comes up limping, I'm not sure if he, I think he might have slipped, I don't know if it was wet out there or not, but keep an eye on him. Get to Fleming on the baseline, he goes up, and they call it travel. <sighs> Six thirty-three remaining in the first quarter. No score. No score. Boudreau gets it over the timeline. Jesse Matthews now has the ball on the left elbow extended. You're going to have an offensive foul there off the ball. His number thirty-five, Andrew Roberts, gets called for the foul off the ball on Andrew Fleming. Three whistles, minute and a half in. Yeah. One foul apiece. I'm sure it'll stay even most of the night. Right. <laughs> and if it gets a little lopsided, it'll catch up towards the end. Verrier with the basketball. Verrier, Beauchene, Fleming, Fleming, and St. Pierre on the court. St. Pierre with it now. Download to Beauchene. Puts it on the ground. Probably shouldn't have. Fleming with the tip to the other Fleming. Up and in. Andrew gets it. Puts it up and in. 4-2 Vikings. As you see, they're really face guarding Fleming there. And... What the shooters need to do is they need to, once they see their defenders back of their head, they need to relocate. They just can't stand still and watch Andrew go to work. That ball goes out of bounds by Chevers. It goes off of Oxford Hills. They'll say it's Chevers basketball. Trailing official's going to ask if they're sure. And it'll be Oxford Hills basketball. Good job by Skip Capone. Good old Skippy. Uh, Verrier with it, drives baseline, cut off, up top to St. Pierre. Fleming now, the elbow extended, he's just going to turn around and shoot it and get it to go down, 6-2 Vikings. Matt, I don't know if you've noticed, but I think there might be a leak in the ceiling. There's this oh. young guy on the front row that keeps going out and wiping it down, so. Nice, that's, yeah. that's what Got we need to do. a little Bangor Auditorium action here. Right. <laughs> Then you're gonna have another off the ball foul. Here, is that a foul or was that travel. just a turnover? Travel. Travel. I was looking for the league. That's my fault <laughs> there. Five twenty remaining in the first quarter. Six two Vikings. Stay tuned at halftime for the Oxford Federal Credit Union player profile. Yeah. 
St. Pierre to Fleming in the corner. Little Fleming. I call him that because he's a freshman. He goes baseline, goes oh. up, that'll be an offensive foul. It looks like Chevris is playing a box and one. It looks like Roberts is just staying with uh, Matt, uh, Matthew, Andrew Fleming. And the rest of the guys are kind of playing a box zone. Two team fouls on Oxford Hills, one on Chevris. 4.53 remaining in the first quarter, 6-2 Vikings. Vikings always seem to start off with good first quarters. Long three-point attempt. Legal screen. Is no good as there's an illegal screen on Jesse Matthews, who's like, what, me? No. Hope you nobody's got plans tonight. Nobody, Hope yeah. everybody's got tomorrow off. Hopefully the local businesses that stay open, <laughs> you know, kind of late for food, stay open yes. just that little bit later. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Bo Shane works it around. Gets it over to St. Pierre. Into the corner for Matthew Fleming. Matthew Fleming fires a three. No offensive foul there. Splashdown. 9-2 Vikings. As we saw, Maddie, they really moved the ball around quickly. They didn't catch and wait until their def defenders got back up. They moved it around and got Matthew Fleming a nice look as he picks up a foul. That'll be his second. They're going to be in the, in the double bonus before the end of the first. Into the ball game comes Trevor Goodrich for Fleming. It takes him right out of the ball game with two quick fouls. It's always too bad, Matty, when the refs decide the game. Nice block there by Fleming, and away he goes. Napolo Tano, and Fleming puts it down! No foul call, and I have no idea why he got hacked on the way. I don't think the officials were down there, Matty. And uh, luckily, they didn't call the foul because we got a little powerful dunk that pumps the crowd up. There's Goodness no gracious, 11 to two Vikings. He got mugged, he's got the mark on his arm, and they're like, that's nah, good, no biggie. Turnover by Chevres in the corner. St. Pierre for three, no good. Rebound comes down to Napolitano. Crossover by Casal on the baseline. Wow. Offensive foul. It's <laughs> <laughs> like Beauchene set his feet, or set his feet enough to get the call. And we had a charge called 45 feet away <laughs> with the official right underneath the hoop. Got a timeout, full timeout for Chevrolet. They want to talk it over. 337 remaining in the first quarter. You're listening to OXO. This Oxford Hill Sports Broadcast is brought to you in part by Bridgeton Hospital. The medical professionals of Bridgeton Hospital would like to take this time to wish the Vikings good luck. Bridgeton Hospital is proud to support local sports and encourages physical fitness and good health for all area youth. Bridgeton Hospital is committed to providing quality services and the best medical care to everyone in the greater lake region in Oxford Hills area. See them on the web at BridgetonHospital.org. Bridgeton Hospital. Quality care. First to health. Welcome back. It's Maine's Pure Country OXO. Matt Beltwell, John Gilson with you here. 11 to two, Vikings with the lead. 3.37 remaining in the first quarter. Full time out there from Chevrolet. It's an early time out, John. Yes, and we we saw Coach Susie really angry with that call as he kept saying that was a wrong call. And he kind of has a point. I mean, it's tough for an official to call it at half court when there's one right on the baseline, but hey, we'll take it. Baseline jumper by Fleming is no good. The rebound comes down to Chevrolet. Now they work it down low, and that'll be put up and in. That will be Matthews, 11 to four. Vikings lead down to seven. Yeah, we got a substitution in with Goodrich, and you know that's that's got to be something that we work on. Where when the subs come out, when Fleming come off the floor, we need to make sure that there's no letdown on the defensive end. Especially when you're coming out of a timeout like that, because he's already he already knows who's the who the man is. Boshane into the corner for Varrier. They look to get it down on the block to Fleming. Now he gets trapped. Spins it out up top to Goodrich. Snappy ball moving over to St. Pierre. He gets it to Varrier. Varrier gets cut off. It looks like Chevers is in a little 2-3 zone. Hand check. Have a hand check. Four team fouls now on Chevers. 2.35 remaining in the first quarter. 11-4 Vikings. Yeah. 
St. Pierre for three. Looks good. Too strong. St. Pierre's really struggled the last couple games we've seen, Matty. We've got to hopefully see him knock down a few to get his confidence back up. Be good to get him to the free throw line, maybe get some easy makes there. Good help side defense by him as he cuts off Roberts. But back the other way comes Matthews. He puts it in, 11 to 6. Oxendale's playing a little 2-3 zone and nobody boxed out as it's hard to find who you're going to box out on that. And Matthews got his own rebound and laid it right in. Into the corner for Verrier. Verrier dribbles it out, left elbow extended. St. Pierre swings it over to Verrier. He's going to dribble, take it up, off the glass, and it! Cole Verrier makes it 13 to 6. Vikings lead by a touchdown and an extra point. Minute 45 remaining in the first quarter. Blake Slicer and Cordell Stewart getting ready to come into the game for the Vikings. Freshman Trey Griffey coming in for Chevres. Trajan Fletcher, excuse me. Shot there is a missed and turnover back the other way comes Oxford Hills. Do you know if Slicer played at Wyndham? I do not know. Or is this his opening? Well, he played. A he played a few minutes the other night. Fleming wide open for three. Looks good. It is. 16 to 6, Oxford Hills. When he's shooting like that, Matty, he's going to be very tough to guard tonight where he's making it from inside and outside. To let everybody know, like you said before, he's 35 points away, which he's less now as he's got nine. So quick math, 26 points away. Chevris works it around. A little jump shot in the middle by Matthews. No good. Verrier with a rebound. And the foul is going to be on DiPolitano. And once again, the trailing official makes the call. So far, <laughs> it's been working out for Oxford Hills, so I'll just leave it alone. This crowd is fired up. They're full of Christmas cheer. Bleachers on both sides are almost full. Yes, uh, there's. this is probably the biggest crowd I've seen yet. We have an uh, assistant coach from UMaine here. We have some old uh, alumni here. We have some quite a few people here in the crowd. Fleming gets cut off on the baseline, kicks it out to Verrier. Shot fake, travel. and that'll be a travel. Defense there by Tobias Efron, who's in the ball game. Verrier's gonna shoot that. You gotta be ready, you're, you're a three-point shooter, you catch that ball, if you got somebody two steps away from you, you just gotta fire it. Trevis works around, long three-point attempt is too short, and Slicer. Can't track the rebound down as Efron already come in and made two little Tommy Point type of plays there. Seems like the type of play that could get under your skin rather quickly. Yes. We added a new point system as well, the Peter Webb points. Yeah. Oh, and that one goes <laughs> out of bounds as Efron tries to save it to Fletcher, but it's too high. Out of bounds, it'll be Vikings basketball. 23.3 seconds remaining in the first quarter, 16 to six Vikings. The Peter points, yes. We'll be tracking those at MBR.org. I, I, I would have taken Andrew Fleming out right there, Maddie. Just to save that Just extra. Give him a little rest and, you, I mean, you don't want him picking up an offensive foul here. Any, I mean, he's got one, so I would have taken him out, but Coach Grafton's gonna gamble and hopefully he pulls up for a jumper here and, oh. Lost it off the foot, one second. And travel is called right before the buzzer, so the shot would have been no good anyway. 16 to 6, Oxford Hills lead Chevrolet. We'll be right back. You're listening to Maine's Pure Country, OXO. This Viking game is brought to you in part by Bolster Monumental Works in Oxford, serving Western Maine since 1877. Choose from a wide selection of monuments in many sizes, colors, and styles, and save money when you buy direct from the craftsman. Plus, Bolster Monumental Works now offers cremation urns. With over 30 years' experience, David does it all. From custom etchings and lettering to setup and cleaning, all services are guaranteed. Visit David at Bolster Monumental Works, 1278 Main Street in Oxford. Welcome back. Spain's Pure Country OXO, start of the second quarter here at Oxford Hills Comprehensive High School. Oxford Hills and Chevres. Matthew Fleming, St. Pierre, Blake Slicer, Jake Beauchene, Andrew Fleming on the court for the Vikings. For Chevres, you've got Napolitano in the ball game. 
You've got Boudreaux in the ball game. You got Trey Fletcher in the ball game. Andrew Roberts in the ball game. And Jack Casal in the ball game as well. Those are the folks on the floor right now. Chevers picks it up. You're going to get a foul called there on Slicer. Ooh. Tough call there. I thought Blake slept. I thought Blake stepped through there, but I guess they're going to pick him up with a the grab call. Apparently, it's like one of those NFL pass interference. So you put your hands on their shoulder, and it looks like you're wrapping them up. That sort of <laughs> thing. Fletcher will inbound. Gets it into Boudreaux. Gets it over the timeline. Working against St. Pierre. A little pull-up jumper goes down. 16 to 8. That's pretty good defense by St. Pierre. I mean, he had his hand up. He was right there. It was just Boudreaux's taller than him, and he just went up over him. Long baseball pass. St. Pierre. No good. Oh! Wow. That is a big-time follow right there, Matty. It was a powerful dunk off the rebound. 18 to 8 Vikings. And there's a steal, and there's another one. Fleming, two hits, stop again. There's three of them. Showtime. There's the quota. <laughs> there's the quota for the night. 20 to 8, Vikings with a lead. Very interesting that uh, Chevers isn't calling a timeout here with two big. Well, that's well, why. Didn't need long, it right there with three-pointer there Boudreaux. by Boudreaux. Who's hitting his shots. Beauchamp's going to drive up. And the bucket counts in the foul. Jack Casal is apoplectic, but 20 due to 11 Vikings now. 6.51 remaining in the first half. I don't know if you saw that, Matty, but it looked like Fleming kind of was getting ready for an alley-oop. And Beauchene decided against it and went in and got the hoop and the harm. Nothing like the old-fashioned three-point play. Jake Beauchene, I believe, was the speaking captain tonight. Free throw no good. Rebound comes down into the hands of Jesse Matthews. Chevers works it around. That's off Skip Capone's leg. He's out of bounds. That's another Chevers turnover. It's Vikings basketball. And this is what we want to see. We want to see a strong second quarter from our Vikings as, as traditionally we've seen this year. As they come out strong in the first quarter, they're all hyped up, and then the second quarter is, is where they let down their guard and let the team back in the game. Fleming around a screen from Bigger Fleming. Hits a long two-pointer, and it's 24-11 to 11 Vikings. Textbook, textbook right there by Matt Fleming as he just did a little ball fake. One-step pull-up, buries the jumper. St. Pierre, good defense there. Now Varrier guarding Napolitano. Napolitano rocking the man bun, the mini man bun. Goes up against Andrew Fleming and puts it down. Good job by Andrew not to draw a foul there. 24-13 Vikings. Yeah, Fleming, Fleming ha kind of had to do that as he, as you said, he's already got his first foul. Matthew Fleming from way downtown. Bang! 27-13 Oxford Hills. It's the Fleming show. And they tried to get it down low to Roberts who had an easy layup and he couldn't haul it in. He tried to lay it up before he had the ball. Turnover, Chevris. Yes, that was a good uh, slip by Roberts. He just, like you said, he went, went, for, went in for a layup before he had it. Is that a five-second call? <laughs> no, it was Matt, Matt Fleming threw it in and uh, kind of had a defender on Cole Varrier, and Varrier knocked it out of bounds, and it'll go yeah. Chevers' ball. I went over to the official because I, I went over to look at the coach for two seconds because he turned around, and there it was. Boudreaux with another shot, no good. Roberts with a rebound. Matthew Fleming's going to watch not to get his foul there. He didn't. Did challenge the shot, ended up getting the rebound. Good play by Matthew Fleming. Very lucky by Fleming. I thought he might have pushed him in the back a little bit, but... I thought that was more of a no foul call. than his last one. Yes. It evens out, though, I guess, supposedly. Matthew Fleming with it now. Over to Andrew. To Beauchene. Beauchene knifes in. Finger roll up and in. 29-13 Vikings. Jake Beauchene looking like George Gervin tonight. I'm not sure if this is... I haven't really noticed it in the past, Matt, either, or if it's on the scouting report, but a, a lot of shot fakes that we've seen by all the Oxford Hills players this, tonight. Only been waiting for that for like three years. Boudreaux comes in, stripped away by St. Pierre. Barrier goes up and lays it up and in. Nice finger roll around Napolitano. 31 to 13, Oxford Hills with the lead. That was a great take by Vary. He kind of felt Napolitano getting ready to step in front of him. And that's right when he picked it up and brought it, brought it in for a layup. 4.44 remaining in the first half. Stay tuned at halftime for the Oxford Federal Credit Union player profile. 
St. Pierre playing good defense. They drive into the lane. That's a nice little floater there by Jesse Matthews over Andrew Fleming, who kind of pulled back so he didn't get his second foul, 31-15 Vikings. And that's the, the problem about picking up a big uh, early first quarter foul is you got to play uh, light defense. Defense light, if you will. Barrier with it, in strong with the left hand. Foul on the floor. The one -on -one. And that's going to put Oxford Hills at the line for the one-on-one -on -one with 416 remaining in the first half. Got to say, that is going to be fast and furious for the fouls, but with 416 remaining in the first half, that's the first uh, first time somebody gets into the bonus. Yes, and it, it, it picked up early in the beginning. I don't know if the officials are trying to set a tone, but there haven't been many fouls here this second quarter. It's just been a lot of dunks. Dare I say, they've done an okay job here so Maddie, far. I'm trying, I'm trying to, you know, holiday season and all. One and one, no good though. Can't take advantage. Got to hit those free throws. 31 15 Vikings, 4 10 remaining in the first half. Boudreau gets it over the timeline. Dribbles with the right hand, waits for the screen, gets it around. Nice little screen and roll there. And Ugh. they are going to count that. As Atreyu Keniston got caught up in the air, got the foul, and that's going to send Kenny Drellick to the line. For the old-fashioned three-point play, 31-17 Vikings. Varrier kind of, I mean, Beauchene looked like he was going to try to take a charge, but realized there was no contact. It was too late. Nice tip there as Tobias Efron tipped it to his teammate who put it up and in. And Scotty Graffa wants to take a timeout. 30-second timeout. We'll be right back here on OXO. If you'd like a single, trusted source for all your insurance needs, home, auto, business, and more, talk to your local heroes at Chalmers Insurance Group. You'll get advice you can trust, rates you can live with, and a quick response when you really need it. The local heroes at Chalmers understand the needs of Maine people and businesses while offering the latest products from America's leading carriers at highly competitive rates. Visit Chalmers Insurance at 38 Paris Street in Norway or at ChalmersInsuranceGroup.com. Welcome back. Maine's Pure Country, OXO. Oxford Hills takes a 30-second time out. 3.54 remaining in the first half. It's 31-19 Vikings with the lead and the basketball. Going left to right across your radio dial. You're listening on 92.7 OXO. You're watching this video stream on mbr.org via YouTube. Video brought to you by Orthopedic Associates. OA Experience in Motion. High post to Fleming. Kicks it into the corner for Varrier for three. No good. Box out was no foul there. Fisher wasn't looking. He was looking at the hoop. Back the other way comes Chevris. Down low. Drellick up. Can't get to go, but draws a foul. Fisher was looking at that. And here's that lag we were talking about, Matty. This is where we let everything down and let the other team come back in. And if you're going to compete at the end of the year for a goal ball, you've got to play for four quarters, 32 minutes. Free throw, no good. And I've been told that the, as everybody knows, Andrew Fleming is going for his 1,000th point, and I've been told that Kevin Tuohy, the only 1,000-point scorer, is in the building tonight. Does he hand him, like, a gold jacket or something? <laughs> Second free throw is good, 31-20 to 20 Vikings. They get it over to Varrier. Up in the front court, Fleming, Matthew Fleming for three, hits another one! Ryan Susie just threw his hands down in disgust. His defender was all over Matthew Fleming. He hit it in his face anyway, 34-20 to 20 Vikings. We discussed this, you and I, before the game was the keys of the game were going to be those shooters, and, and Matthew Fleming's really stepping up tonight with two big threes and a couple other buckets. Politano working it around. Boudreaux fires it from deep. No good. Rebound on the floor. Taken away by Slicer. Matthew Fleming with it. Got to be careful. Finger all up and in. Great play there. Got called for the offensive foul. Last time when he did that. This time pulled up just a little bit. Got it right over the front rim. But down low to Drellick who misses the bunny. Matthew Fleming with a rebound back the other way come the and, Vikings. And that last play was really set up by Slicer who we've missed all year. You saw him. He didn't have any numbers. He brought it back. And then saw Fleming going up the court, got it to him, and that's that's really what started that play was Slicer. Andrew Fleming for three, no good. Rebound comes down into the hands of Efron. Back the other way come Shepherds. 36-20 Vikings. 2.07 remaining in the first half. Efron drives in, and hand check foul there on Beauchene. We, 
we can't. If you're playing zone, Maddie, you cannot let let them go to the middle because that breaks the zone, and that wa that middle of the uh, foul line is wide open, and you got to really try to push them baseline. You even actually got to you know overplay that middle so you force them baseline. Don't give them any opportunity to break that zone and get in the inside of that paint. Free throws, no good. You're gonna have a lane violation. Yep. Left. As Efron, he can't leave after he shoots it. <laughs> yeah, he's got to hit the rim. <laughs> yes, everybody else can go in once it's released, but not the shooter. Fleming inbounds to Slicer. Coach Grafham said Slicer was probably playing at about 70% after the high ankle sprain that he suffered towards the end of the preseason. And right now he's looking like he's favoring it quite a bit. Working his way back into it, works it around, tries to get a backdoor cut to Fleming, but he gets cut off. Matthew Fleming with it now, over to the side for Slicer. Slicer splits through, gets it to Matthew Fleming. Oh, that's a foul. That is a foul. Yep. That'll be on number 23, Jesse think, Matthews. Think He's not might happy be, about it either. That might be three on him. I mean, you, you can't complain about that. You can't jump on him, no matter if you're going after the ball or not. You can jump on the floor, Maddie, but you can't jump on the on the player. So that was exactly right. I usually don't say the officials are right, but they're right on that one. Because you're in the holiday spirit too. Yes. And that will be the third foul on Matthews. And it looks like uh, Diego Star Riley Robinson's in the crowd as well. Everybody's coming out tonight. It's like the forum. Where's Diane Cannon and Jack Nicholson? <laughs> MBR's here with video. Superstars are all through the building. Big night. Matthew Fleming hits both free throws. It is 38 to 20 Vikings. That's 12 points for Matthew Fleming in the second quarter. Not bad for a freshman with two fouls. He comes out of the ball game here with a minute 40 remaining in the first half. Smart as he's got two fouls. And you know something silly would happen. Yes. Efron with it being guarded by Varrier. St. Pierre takes it away on a steal. Puts it up, left hand, too strong, gets his rebound, goes up with it. Can't get that to go, and Barrier takes it away. Foul's gonna be on Efron. Chevres hustling, doing everything they gotta do, but every time they go for that little extra, they get whistled. Foul's though currently even, so nobody can say it's one-sided in this one. I think I'd look to get uh well, Andrew's only got one foul, but I still might. Minute 20 to go, you're up 18. Get him out. I might even call a 30-second timeout and just say, hey, look, um, slow things down. Free throw is missed, so back the other way comes Chevres. Andrew Fleming took a shot to the nose. Boudreaux's can't wide open. open. You can't leave him open for three, but he can't hit the shot. And there it is. Oh, nope, they got it on. Roberts. Yeah, okay. It's time. <laughs> now, you just played with fire, yes. okay? Let's not singe any eyebrows off. Yes. Minutes ago, I would uh, hopefully he makes it's there in double bonus now, but you got to get him out of there. If, if that's me, I, I would be sending sending Stewart in or or Goodrich, somebody to just to get Andrew out of there. And I mean, coming coming into the third quarter with one foul, that'd be ideal. First free throw goes down. It's 39 to 20 Vikings. At the half, Spruce Girls lead Poland 24 23. Bessie and Moore, six points each. Boldick and Grondin, seven points each for Poland. Second free throw goes down. 40 to 20 Vikings with the lead over Chevres. Approaching one minute remaining in the first half. Drellick down low. Efron kicks it out. That's going to be a long jumper by Casal, who hits the three. Now I don't like the stall, Mahedi, but I would, I would, I would try for the last shot here, unless you have a wide open layup. I wouldn't force anything. No need. Working it around. 35 seconds remaining in the first half. 40 to 23 Vikings with the lead. Stay tuned at halftime for the Oxford Federal Credit Union Player Profile. Brought to you by Oxford Federal Credit Union with offices in Norway and Mexico. 25 seconds remaining in the first half. Chevers backs off. They're going to sag back into a... Was it looking like a zone. Now it's gone, man. Varrier gets it to Fleming up top. 13 seconds, 10 seconds, 11 seconds. Drives in and draws the foul. 
Efron racked him on the arm. They didn't miss that one. 10.4 seconds remaining in the first half. If he didn't trip, Maddie, somebody would have got posterized because <laughs> somebody would have been a he, fathead. That was that, that look on Andrew Fleming's face was somebody is going to get hammered on right now, and he got a little tripped up and still picked up the foul. Free throw, good. What do we have on uh, on points for Andrew so far as Slicer comes out of the game for Goodrich? He's slacked here in the second quarter, but he still has seven. Two, if he makes this one, he's still on pace. He's, he'll have 17. And he does hit the second free throw. It's 42-23 Vikings, and Andrew Fleming comes out of the ball game. Stewart in for him. Oh, man. Inbound to Boudreaux. Boudreaux comes up with a left hand. St. Pierre is going to get called for the... The uh, hand check there, even it up, now eight I, fouls, ten fouls, you know. I would not be doing what they're doing right now, though. Are they offensive defensing it? <laughs> you got six seconds to go. You're putting in a kid with two fouls, and Andrew, I mean, he's only ha Andrew only has one, but I would not be putting Matthew Fleming back in the ballgame with two fouls. You could pick up a, a rebounding foul here. It's just cheapy loose ball. First free throw's good, 42-24 now. Vikings lead down to 18. Second free throw also good. Barrier over the timeline. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. Barrier gets it to Matthew Fleming, wide open for three! Oh. Can't quite get it to go down. End of one half of play, it's 42-25 Vikings. We will be back. You're listening to OXO. Your KBS dream home is waiting for you at Schiavi Custom Builders at Oxford. Come in and meet their experienced team and open the door to home ownership with Schiavi's simple three-step process. Choose your KBS home, plan your KBS home, and build your KBS home. These are all quality crafted homes built by local people for local people. Dreams do come true. Visit Skiavi Custom Builders, your KBS home headquarters on Route 26 in Oxford. Hi, this is Teresa Clifton, owner of Littlefields Flowers and Gifts in South Paris. With great pleasure, we have been serving the area's floral needs for generations. I invite you to come and explore all that Littlefields has to offer, from weddings to funerals, birthdays to graduation, and any special occasion. Littlefields can help you say it with flowers. Visit Littlefields Flowers and Gifts on Main Street in South Paris. Call us at 743-6301. Since 1930, we have been experts in the art of expression. My name is Dave Cowens. I live in Maine, and I am a Norway Savings Bank customer. I'm also a former professional basketball player and coach from Boston. I teamed up with Norway Savings because they are driven, passionate, and they play fair. Believe me, you never have to worry about the small print with Norway Savings. They even have a free checking account. That's actually free. No kidding. No hidden fees. So join me and team up with Norway Savings Bank. You must deposit $25 to open a free solutions checking account. Norway Savings is an equal housing lender. Member FDIC. In a time when more of our daily lives are tied to computer screens and smartphones, the need for resources to keep our youth active and unplugged is greater than ever. That's why the Oxford Hills Athletic Boosters are committed to raising money to help support our area youth sports programs. Only through the willingness of volunteers to donate their valuable time to assist the boosters can they continue to help ensure that our kids don't miss out on all the benefits of participating in team sports. So make today the day that you visit OxfordHillsAthleticBoosters.org to find out what you can do to keep your kids moving. Go Vikings! Hello, sports fans. This is Steve from Service Master Clean, the folks in the yellow van. Hopefully, you'll never have to experience a disaster such as a fire or flood striking your home or business. But if you do, we're here to help you get your life back to normal. Call us at 539-4452 for 24-hour emergency service. For both commercial and residential disaster restoration to carpet cleaning, floor refinishing, and more, you can be confident knowing that Service Master Clean has over 50 years of experience and will do the job right. Service Master has moved right down the road from our Main Street location, but we can always be reached at 539-4452. For any disaster, call Service Master. With over 60 years of housing experience, Twin Town Homes can put you in a brand new home of your own. Let Twin Town Homes custom design and build a home that fits your family's needs and budget. Call 539-8881. 
For single wides, ranches, capes, and colonials, Twin Town Homes will help you select a perfect home. Visit Twin Town Homes on Route 26 in Oxford or see them on the web at TwinTownHomes.com. We're here with Joe Galetta from Ripley and Fletcher Ford. And Joe, being a small town dealer with small town values, it's all about how you treat your customers, right? You know, it does sometimes sound like everybody's trying to reinvent themselves to be a small town dealer. You know, at Ripley and Fletcher Ford, we don't have to reinvent anything. This is the same formula we've always used. Set the customer's expectations high and then meet those expectations and you end up with a satisfied customer every time. Ripley and Fletcher Ford, 80 Main Street in South Paris, online at ripleyandfletcherford.com. Oxford County's premier dealer since 19. 19- this Viking Sports Broadcast is brought to you in part by Dave Small Engine Repair in Oxford, your local Aaron's dealer. Hi, this is Dave Patrick. Why shovel this winter when you can have a new Aaron's snowblower? They're built right and engineered for durability. Hurry in now to Dave Small Engine and check out our entire line of Aaron's snowblowers offering unparalleled performance and a great price to boot. Visit Dave Small Engine Repair at 910 Main Street, Route 26 in Oxford. <laughs> Welcome back. It's Main Spear Country OXO. It is halftime. Time for the Oxford Federal Credit Union Player Profile brought to you by Oxford Federal Credit Union with offices in Norway and Mexico. Today's Oxford Federal Credit Union Player Profile is on Cole Verrier. Optional nickname. You're going to love this one, John. Swaggy C. <laughs> yeah, I... Proclaimed, just to let you know, I found that yeah. out the other night. <laughs> He's self-proclaimed, and now we got Swaggy C. So that's Swaggy C. That's nice. That's that's good. Uh, he anticipates graduating in 2017, which is always good. Favorite food: Buffalo chicken pizza. I can't argue with that. That's pretty good stuff. Favorite subject: is science. He likes the Celtics, but his favorite NBA player is Kyrie Irving. I don't know if that's even allowed. <laughs> Most memorable basketball experience: when he scored 44 points in a game, and he plans to go to college after graduation. This Oxford Federal Credit Union player profile on Cole Verrier, better known as Swaggy C. <laughs> Brought to you by Oxford Federal Credit Union. Oxford Federal Credit Union with offices in Norway and Mexico. John, I know you went down and got the big book of oh stats. What do we have for scoring here in the first half? For the first half, for Chevres, we have Kenny Dralik with three, Luca Napolitano with four, Jack Castle with three. Jesse Matthews, who has three fouls, led the Stags with eight. And Austin Brudro had seven. For our Vikings, Colveria with four, Jake Beauchene with six, Andrew Fleming with 17, and Matthew Fleming with 15. So Flemings have 32 out of the 42 points. And Andrew is how many points away from 1,000? He is 18 points away. 18 points in the second half away from 1,000 points. Andrew Fleming for his career. And I know he wants to do it at the Civic Center, but how could you not want to do it in front of your home crowd? I mean, this place is packed. This is the loudest it's ever been. I mean, you name it, they're here. Like I said, the only 1,000-point scorer in history is Kevin Tuohy is in the building. A couple of his AAU AAU, uh, players are here. Um, it's just, I think I would want to do it in front of the home crowd and all these fans that have been cheering for him for his last last uh, high school career. Uh, scores from around the area. Poland and Spruce Mountain. Apparently a really good game. 228 remaining in the fourth quarter there for the boys. Tied at 54. Wow. We'll take a break. We'll come back with second half action. Oxford Hills, Chevrolet. Built by Hammond Lumber. The video brought to you by Orthopedic Associates. You're listening to 92.7 OXO, your home for Oxford Hills Vikings basketball. This is Ryan LaVardier. Monica, the team, and I are proud to help make this broadcast of Oxford Hills basketball possible. With over 100 years of combined experience in the Oxford Hills, our team can help you buy or sell residential and waterfront homes, land, and commercial property. Check us out on the web at barefootrealty.com and like us on Facebook or call 539-6060. We're Barefoot Realty, 698 Main Street in Oxford, and we're dedicated to growing the Oxford Hills. 
If your laundry's got you down or the clothes are piling up, try Betty's Laundry in South Paris, a fully attended, clean, coin-operated laundry. Betty's offers 66 top-of-the-line washers and dryers to get the job done in a hurry. Their new 80-pound washers can do a whole week's worth of laundry in just 23 minutes. These are also great to wash bedding, rugs, and large items that just won't fit in your home machine. Have fun this season, Oxford Hill athletes, from your friends at Betty's Laundry, 142 Main Street, South Paris. Because your memories matter put them in the hands of a professional at photography by trish logan in norway trish specializes in children high school seniors families and business professionals and also offers many other studio services create beautiful home decor with your portraits and preserve your family memories forever with high quality images that last for generations photography by trish logan maine's award-winning premier portrait studio is conveniently located across from oxford hills comprehensive high school in norway maine for more information, visit TrishLogan.com. Maurice Restaurant in South Paris invites you to enjoy a delicious, affordable lunch every Tuesday through Friday from 11 to 1.30. Choose from daily specials and a great lunch menu. Brunch is served every Sunday from 11 to 2. Maurice Restaurant also serves dinner from 4 p.m. daily, closed Monday. Plus, visit them on the web at mauricerestaurant.com and register to receive their latest promotional specials. Maurice Restaurant on Main Street in South Paris, where casual attire is welcome. This Viking Sports Broadcast is brought to you in part by Jordan's Garage in Oxford. If your car needs fixing, bring it to Jordan's Garage, and they'll get you on the road again in no time. Jordan's Garage offers general automotive repair on all makes and models of cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs. And at Jordan's Garage, they even specialize in Volkswagen and Audi service and repair. Call them at 539-8465. That's 539-8465. Visit Jordan's Garage at 693 Main Street, Route 26 in Oxford. Go Vikings! At home or on the go, you'll find Rainbow Federal Credit Union is with you every step of the way with home banking and mobile banking. Obtain current account balances, view account histories, make transfers between accounts, view recently cleared checks, and a whole lot more. And best of all, it's free for all members. Sign up today. Stop by Rainbow's offices in Lewiston, Auburn, Mechanic Falls, and South Paris, or on the web at rainbowfcu.com. Member eligibility required. Rainbow Welcome back. It's Maine's Pure Country OXO. Two teams trade missed buckets to start, but then Jake Boshan comes back the other way. And, you know, it seems like Boshan's playing a little more confidence as well, as is Matthew Fleming. Now 44 25 Vikings here, start of the second half. Yeah. And he got an offensive foul there on Jesse Matthews, <laughs> who's like, really? You kidding me, man? He didn't even need to do that, but as we've seen all year, Matty, when you. When you lower your shoulder, you're going to get an offensive foul, and that's what he did. Fleming was just standing there because he can't do too much with two fouls. Doesn't want to pick up his third early here in the third quarter. <laughs> and uh, Roberts just picks, uh, Matthews picks up his fourth foul and is staying. Well, looks like Coach Susie might have him be coming out. But Tell Efron comes in. Back the other way come the Vikings. Fleming. A lot of hand checks. Puts it on the floor. Roberts, good defense there. Gets it to St. Pierre, who goes up. Right hand up in it. 46-25, Oxford Hills. Well, let's hope that sparks a little bit under uh, St. Pierre's tail. As that's his first puck of the game. and It'd be nice to see him knock down a few shots. Napolitano, man bun, full effect. Goes around. Nice shot fake there as Fleming went up for it and got fooled, and he put it down. 46-27, Vikings. It's time for Fleming to not worry about that second foul. You know, it's... It's at this stage, if you have three fouls, you don't want to pick it before fourth. But if you got one foul, don't worry about it. And that'll be an offensive foul as Matthew Fleming. He picks up his third. Use the left hand there right in front of the official. Mr. Fuller had no choice but to make that call. Blake Slicer will now come into the ballgame for Fleming. What in the. Give repeat a point! <laughs> Looks like they had to, had to do the, you got to go to the yes. one spot and do the thing. Yes. Yeah. Paulo Tano with it. 46-27 Vikings. Chevrolet basketball. Slicer almost, excuse me, very almost had that. They kick it out to Napolitano. 
That's Casal with it. He's going to drive in, lay it up off the glass, and the foul. Who's it on? It's going to be on Beauchene. Beauchene tried to get out of the way, but Casal did a great move and kind of jumped in, jumped in the air, but kind of went towards Beauchene to try to get contact, and he did, and that's why that was an and one. 46-29, Vikings lead by 17, now 16, as that free throw is good. 6-13 remaining in the third quarter. Stay tuned to the end of the game for the Bessie Motors player of the game. They get it down low to Fleming on the baseline. Takes a dribble and loses it, now gets it back. Gets it down low to Boshin, who's wide open, puts it up and in. Nice look by Andrew Fleming. A broken play turned out to be an easy layup. And then back the other way, Chevrus. Lays it up and lays it in as Casal puts it down. 48-32 okay. Vikings down, another three-point play. Now you got two two starters with three fouls. And that was just a cheap foul. I don't I mean you, you don't want to pick up that foul. At that point, you might as well you've already committed to it, you might as well just let it go. Or foul them. Right. Not, yeah. not that ticky tack thing. <laughs> Sal's free throw, no, is good. Now down to a 15 point lead for the Vikings, 5.50 remaining in the third quarter. We talked the importance of playing all 32 minutes and Vikings gonna have to do that here. Yeah, Chevrolet isn't gonna go away. Chevrolet is a strong team and they're, you know, they're not gonna give up. Varrier drives travel. in, they call it travel. Scotty Grafham does not enjoy that call from Barry Fuller. I couldn't not, not even a little. Those, those plays there, it's, it's tough to tell because it's all timing of when you put, pick up and put your foot down. And, and then on the baseline, Casal gets Ca uncovered again. And he's having his way right now. St. Pierre almost gets called for an offensive foul there. Put the shoulder down. Slicer straight away three. No good. Rebound comes down to Casal. As Chevrolet scores here, you may see a timeout. You should have Napolitano seen one. for three, no good. Rebound, St. Pierre. Uh, Oxford Hills has just got to slow it down. They're, you know, they're rushing, they're rushing, and they don't need to. They need to slow it down, take a deep breath, and get a good shot. St. Pierre works it around, trying to get it down low to Fleming. Foul will be called there on Chevrolet. Hand check city. And what's going to happen, Matty, is it's really going to be, when it comes crunch time, that's when you're going to be in trouble because, you know, um, Chevrolet is starting to get into foul trouble. O Oxford Hills is, is uh, he's got two starters with three fouls. Fleming goes up, tried to put it down two hands, missed it, got his rebound. Oh, my goodness. Give him the Emmy! Wow. That was an acting job. That was that wow. was the acting job of all acting jobs that I've ever seen. Acting. Wow. That is absolutely terrible. That is terrible. Not good. I hope the crowd gives it to her on that one because that, well, that was, was a terrible play. The, the kid waited for it, waited for it, and fell before Andrew knew he was going to try to do it. He's lowering his shoulder. I, that's got to be a travel. What about an offensive? A little mock cheer and clapping from the crowd there. 4.26 remaining in the third quarter. Chevers tightened it up. 13 point lead now for the Vikings. He gotta go now, he gotta get it over half court. Fleming gets it over the timeline, uh -oh. drives in, puts it down with two hands! Double stuffed bird, 50 to 35 Vikings. And that's what happens when you call a bogus, <laughs> bogus <laughs> charge call. You make a division one player mad and he comes down and hammers it down. Nice play there by Casal, who's found his offensive range here in the second half. Gets back to a 13 point lead. Andrew gets it over to Slicer. Slicer, a lot of minutes tonight. Tries baseline, goes up, oh. puts it down to the foul! He, he cannot be stopped. Not tonight. He can't even be contained, Maddie. Five dunks. Well, you're very judicious. You're very generous with that with that dunk there. 
I'll give Dare I say very liberal with your spreading I'll, of the I'll dunk there. One. Be a timeout for Chevrus. 30 second or a full? 30 if they're standing usually. 30 second. We'll be right back. Oxford Hills leads by 15 on OXO. of high school sports. Enjoy delicious coffee, hot chocolate, breakfast, and anytime sandwiches, wraps, donuts, muffins, and more. Visit your local Oxford Dunkin' Donuts locations at 467 Main Street and 1240 Main Street. Stop by your local South Paris Dunkin' Donuts at 169 Main Street. And remember, Oxford Hills runs on Dunkin'. Welcome back. Andrew Fleming going for the old-fashioned three-point play. 52-37, now 53-37. Vikings with a lead over Chevrish. 3.39 remaining here in the third quarter. Chevrish not going away, though. They're still keeping this within striking distance. Oxford Hills picking up the trap action. Slicer with a defensive play. And I think that's on Slicer. <laughs> I don't know where. I don't even know what to say other than what was that. They're both jumping up in the air. I don't know how that's... Who was that on? I think it was on... Uh, it was on Chevers, I guess. It was on Casal. I have no idea. Me either. I'm tweeting. <laughs> Slicer. Picks up his dribble. Needs some help. Gets it over to Varrier, who's in the ball game. Varrier, Goodrich, Slicer, Fleming, Andrew Variety. Ooh. Has a turnover there. That pass, a little too soft. Boudreaux, he'll shoot it from anywhere. Kicks it over to Casal. Crossover, crossover, crossover. Drives into the lane, goes up, and he draws a foul on Andrew Fleming. That's three. Jumped into him. And now this is where Andrew's going to start being cautious again. Yes. Well, because of the ticky-tack charging call earlier. Yeah. Free throw is good. 53-38, Vikings with a 15-point lead over Chevres. Stay tuned to the end of the game for the Bessie Motors player of the game. Second free throw is good. Chevres making their free throws here in the second half. And it's all Casal. Casal's got 12 of the 14 points here in this third quarter. St. Pierre with it. Now to Fleming. Over to St. Pierre, who's open for three. He needs this, and he gets it. 56-39 Vikings. That was just great rhythm, great footwork there by St. Pierre. He came around that kind of a ball screen there a little bit and just was able to knock it down as we get another terrible ticky-tack foul. Another one. That'll be on Goodrich. Six team fouls now on Oxford Hills. Boudreaux hits the first free throw. Chevris can knock down their foul shot, so we do not want to keep fouling them as they're only one foul away to be in the bonus. Stewart coming into the ball game. Andrew Fleming coming out of the ball game. Good idea. But this is where you know the, the team's got to step up around him and not have a, a big letdown here as they're up by 14, maybe 13 here. With Varian Slicer on the court, I think this changes it up a little bit. You haven't had Slicer for the previous stretches, or Andrew's been out, so. We'll see what happens. St. Pierre, Slicer. Keniston out there, along with Stewart. Two minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the third quarter. 56-41 Vikings. Barrier in, no good. Rebound, tipped around. Ends up in the hands of Chevers. Can't leave him open. Three-pointer from Casal in the corner, hits it. 56-44. Casal is dominating this third quarter. Slicer lost control. Boudreaux with it, off the turnover. Casal looking for a screen, drives in. <laughs> and an offensive foul. Brian Searcy cannot believe it. It's like, really? <laughs> Andrew Fleming going to come back into the ball game. Blake Slicer will sit down. Minute 48 remaining in the third quarter. It's 56-44. Vikings with a 12-point lead. 
They get it to Fleming. Stapolitano came up and guarded Barrier. Fleming has three fouls. Got to be careful not to get a cheapy offensive one here. They work it around. Fleming. His triple team lost it. Tried to go to his left. His, his right was open, but tried to go to his left. Oh, good move by Boudreaux. Nice spin move there by Boudreaux. And this lead is down to 10. 56-46 Vikings. Chevris not going away. Wow. St. Pierre almost lost it. Fleming gets it. Drives baseline. Gets cut off. Waits. Finds St. Pierre. He's open for three. No good. And that'll be on the young Keniston, the sophomore, going over the back. You got to get a timeout here, Maddie. If you're Coach Graff, you got to get a timeout and say, "Hey, look, young guys that are in there that don't get a lot of playing time. You can't, you can't do stupid things. This isn't a JV game. You got to go in there. You know, if you don't have position, don't go and try to go right over the guy's back. You're gonna get that called every time." Matthew Fleming into the ball game for Cordell Stewart. Efron at the line, free throw, short. Rebound, fought for, Casal saves it. Napolitano comes down with it. Big hustle play there by Chevres. Minute remaining, they get it down low to Napolitano. Over to Drellick, back to Napolitano. Over to Boudreaux. Boudreaux waits for a screen. Crosses over, step back, three pointer, hit it. Seven point lead for the Vikings. To Fleming. Up top to St. Pierre, over to Matthew Fleming, to Cole Verrier. Some point, Cole Verrier is going to have to get untracked for Oxford Hills to come away with this one. Fleming, turn around, hits it. Fleming nice. also needs to be very cautious here as he not try to do too much and pick up that offensive foul that you know the officials are just waiting for. Itching to call. Also got to be careful here not to get the technical because that would be two fouls and that would be the end of it. Boudreaux, three-pointer, hits it. Chevres brought their shooting pants in the second half. St. Pierre at the buzzer, two shorts. End of three quarters of play, setting up for a fantastic finish. 58-52 Vikings will be right back on OXO Video at NBR.org. 7 WOXO, Norway, LA, Brunswick, and WTBM, Mexico, Farmington, Augusta, Maine's Pure Country Station, OXO. Did you know CN Brown Company has been offering energy savings and the value you deserve for over 65 years and it just keeps getting better? Now you can bundle and save when you enroll in CN Brown Electricity and Premium Red Shield Heating Oil. Customers save an additional $0.05 cents on every gallon. Bundle that with their outstanding Big Apple Rewards Program and absolutely no one offers more than CN Brown Company. Locally owned and operated all over northern New England. Reach them at cnbrown.com. Oxford Hills Comprehensive High School Sports fans. For lunch or supper, visit Polly's Variety in Oxford for pizza by the slice or a whole pizza, subs or grinders. And while you're there, pick up grocery items. Check out a wide variety of deli meats, cheeses, and veggies, all at great prices. For great pizza, as well as breakfast sandwiches, subs, and grinders, call Polly's at 539-8254 with all the conveniences of a convenience store. Reasonably priced and a friendly staff. Go to Polly's Variety on King Street, Route 121 in Oxford. Welcome back. It's third quarter action here on Main Spear Country OXO. Matt Beltwell, John Gilson. Three-pointer tap from Chevres is no good. Too strong. Andrew Fleming goes up high for the rebound. Shot there was no good by number 11. Dominic Casals in the ball game. Up top, Fleming straight away. Three, too strong. Rebound fought for in Beauchene. That's four on both. Got the over the back. That'll be his fourth. It's going to be a long fourth quarter. Yeah. <laughs> going to be a lot of shooting. Chevers definitely has the momentum as they scored 26 points to, to Oxford Hill's 16 in the third quarter. And that was that lull in the game that we talked about that usually go, starts in the second quarter. And Oxford Hills just couldn't seem to find their offense there in the third quarter. Couldn't find it consistently. Casal misses way off with the free throw. Front end of that one and one, no good. 
Viking basketball. Verrier with it up top to Beauchene. Swings it over to Matthew Fleming, who's in the ball game with three fouls. He drives baseline, pull up jumper, no good. Rebound comes down to Napolitano. Yep. And you're gonna have a foul there on Boudreau. Yep. What? No way! Not me. No, that never I, happens. I think it was on Napolitano. I thought it was on Boudreau. He's pleading his case. I don't know. What Might have been Napolitano. It. Yeah. Yeah, it's on Napolitano. I saw. I, it did happen. I saw it, and I wasn't sure if the official was gonna see it, but. Going to get a timeout for Oxford Hills. Thirty-second timeout. We'll be right back on OXO. When there's a big game on the line, you want experience. OA Centers for Orthopedics is the team to count on. With four convenient locations in Brunswick, Portland, Saco, and Wyndham, you have a choice. Board certified, nationally recognized. That's OA. Experience in motion. Online at orthoassociates.com. Welcome back. Main Spear Country OXO. Oxford Hills Vikings 30-second timeout. They'll inbound it now on the S underneath their own basket. They're going from right to left on your radio dial. Barrier inbounds to Andrew Fleming, and it gets picked off. I don't think that's what Coach Graffham wanted out of the timeout no. there. Long three-pointer by Boudreaux, gets it to go, 58-55, Vikings lead down to three. And I don't know what Chris St. Pierre was thinking. I mean, Boudreaux's been hot as of late with the three-pointers, and he just sagged off and let him hit it. Barrier and St. Pierre back and forth. Now Goodrich in the ball game. St. Pierre looking down low for Fleming. Over to Beauchene. Fleming in the high post, takes the jumper, no good. Rebound comes down to Goodrich, too strong. That rebound comes down to Roberts. Got to make the point blanks. Chevres looking to tie. Or at least cut it to one. Fleming gambled. Casal for three, no good. Rebound, Varrier. Beauchene, Fleming. Into the lane, too short, no good. A lot of contact there, but I don't know if Roberts is just standing straight up and that's why they didn't call it, but a lot of contact. Boudreaux, step back three, short. Roberts with the rebound though. Keeps the possession alive for Chevres. 5.50 remaining in the fourth quarter. Boudreaux brings it back to center court, being guarded by St. Pierre, waiting for a screen from Roberts. They're gonna go with the old screen and roll. Roberts, shot fake, too strong, rebound, comes down to St. Pierre. That'll be a big miss if Chevres loses this one. St. Pierre gets picked away by Boudreaux. Don't foul. And he lays it up and in. Chevres has it down to one point. 58-57 Vikings. They get it to Goodrich, off the glass and in. Good look ahead, three-point lead for the Vikings, 5.20 remaining in the fourth quarter. This is where discipline really kicks in, Matty. You gotta be a disciplined ball player. You gotta make sure that those passes are there. You gotta make sure that you're guarding your man. Boudreaux for three, no good. Andrew Fleming with a rebound. That's this is where you hope Chevres starts taking the long shots because right. they're heat checking. Right, I was just getting ready to say that. Boudreaux came down and hit, took two quick three-pointers and missed them both. Fleming. Gets it down low for Goodrich, who tracks it down. Does a good job of that. Gets out of the paint. Gets it to St. Pierre, who drives in. Finger roll, up and in. 62-57 defense. Where's the defense chance? Don't people chant defense yeah. anymore? Are they allowed? Has that been banned yet? Probably. Full timeout for Chevres. We'll be back in one minute. Time for two commercials. Oxford Hills lead 62-57, 4.35 remaining in the fourth quarter. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Gene Banner of Bessie Motors announcing our continued support of the youth of the Oxford Hills. Once again, Bessie Motors will be sponsoring the player of the game. At Bessie Motors, we feel that lessons learned on the playing field will be valuable in developing our future leaders. Good luck to all of our scholar athletes from Bessie Motors. Bessie Motors, South Paris, Maine. There's never been a better time to buy than right now at Goodwin Chevrolet Buick in Oxford. Hi, this is General Sales Manager Chris Harper, inviting you to stop in and check out our great selection of new cars, trucks, and crossovers. Odds are we're going to be able to save you thousands. Looking to save even more money? Be sure to check out our ever-changing selection of pre-owned vehicles. 
Remember, at Goodwin Chevrolet Buick, you'll always find the bottom line deal. Come see us at Goodwin Chevrolet Buick on Route 26 in Oxford. Call 743-8944 or see us on the web at GoodwinOxford.com. Welcome back. It's Mance Pier Country OXO. Matt Beltwell, John Gilson with you here. Four thirty-five remaining in the fourth quarter. Vikings lead by five, 62-57. It'll be Chevrolet basketball. Boudreaux with it. Gets it down low. No call. No, they're gonna. Is that gonna be on Boshane? They're gonna get Boshane. That'll be his fifth, won't it? And the crowd's gonna go wild. Now, that, the crowd has has the has the right because that was definitely an offensive foul and a very late call by one of the officials as he calls that after both players had already fallen on the floor and. And the ball don't lie, it rattles in and out the second time around. One of two free throws, 62-58, 420 remaining in the fourth quarter. Vikings working around. Slicer, looking to get a down low to Fleming. He immediately gets triple teamed. Slicer's open, State will get to St. Pierre's way more open. Buries the three! Way to play unselfish basketball there by Blake Slicer. He had to take that step back. He realized that his motion was going backwards, not forwards. Not a good shot. He passed it off to, to St. Pierre for a wide open three, and that was a big bucket by him. Roberts outside Napolitano for three. No good. Rebound tapped out of bounds. It's Oxford Hills basketball. St. Pierre got lucky on that one. I thought that he might have knocked that out of bounds. Well, they can't go to the replay, luckily. So. <laughs> and if they could, we control it. So, yes. you know. Fleming with it, gets double teamed immediately. Over to Matthew Fleming to Chris St. Pierre. Floor spacing's big, and you know, saw three uh, Oxford Hills players get tied in the same area. Pull up by Fleming, hits it from the baseline. 67-58 Vikings up to a nine point lead, 320 remaining in the fourth quarter. Big defensive stand here. Boudreaux down low for Roberts. St. Pierre couldn't come up with it. Long three pointer is no good. Roberts can't save it. That was Matthews. Wide right. Yes. <laughs> Just a bit outside. Got to make sure you're always get setting up in your press breaker as it looks like Chevris is going to press the rest of the game. But Andrew Fleming is going to be a point guard. Gets it back to Slicer, the actual point guard. Three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Nine point lead for the Vikings. Andrew Fleming double teamed. Gets it into the corner for Varia. Back out to Slicer, over to St. Pierre. Down low to Matthew Fleming. Matthew Fleming turns around, puts it on the floor. Out to Verrier, he fires a long one, no good. Rebound, comes down to Boudreaux. That's uh, not the greatest of shots that you want, Matty. Then you get a turn around there as Matthews was able to post up on Slicer. That's a bit of a matchup, for Chevers especially. Fleming with an unbelievable finger roll and a great job not to draw the ticky-tack travel call. Gets the hoop, gets the harm. 69-60 Vikings. And he sold that one. He so I don't think I don't know if there was a foul there, but he kind of went around the guy and gave a little oh. Hey, it's it worked it worked against him already. He's already seen it work, so you know. Might as well go ahead and see what's there. Fleming's free throw too strong. Hits the strap. I hate those straps. The Fleming straps. The Fle <laughs> if they weren't there, a couple of those those dunks he had, uh, the rims might have been coming down. 69 to 60, 229 remaining in the fourth quarter. Dangerous to be trapped. Very quarter. dangerous here. Get it down low. Roberts up with it against Fleming. No good. Andrew Fleming, good defense and the rebound. They also need to recognize is every time Andrew Fleming gets the ball, they go and double team him. So they need to recognize whoever's man is double teaming, they need to cut to the hoop and they'll have a wide open layup because Andrew can look over that. 
Full timeout for Oxford Hills. We'll take a timeout as well. 69-60 Vikings. 2.14 remaining in the fourth quarter. We'll be right back. This Viking sports broadcast is brought to you in part by Grover Gun Drilling. On the field and off, you're a winner with us Vikings. That's Grover Gun Drilling, supporting the Oxford Hills from locations in Norway and Oxford. Go Vikings! Oxford Federal Credit Union helps make sense of banking and money. Their Free For Me account is the ultimate account for 18 to 20 seconds. Instead of strict rules and requirements, OFCU offers perks that give you a head start. There's no minimum balance or monthly fees. And with their mobile app, I can deposit checks right from my smartphone or tablet. Just snap, tap, and deposit. It's that easy. Open your Free For Me account at OFCU.org. Welcome back. It's Maine's Pure Country OXO, 69-60, Vikings lead, 2.14 remaining in the fourth quarter. Stay tuned to the end of the game for the best new motors player of the game. Matt Bevel, John Gilson with you here. Chris Hodgkins keeping us on the air. In Norway, undisclosed camera guy also here. Behaving himself tonight. Very good. They inbound it to Fleming, and now they're going to work it around. He's going to drive baseline. Crossover, kicks it back up to Slicer. I think it helps his team quite a bit to get that veteran leader in there. And you got a hand check there on Boudreaux. Oxford Hills goes to shoot the one and the one. Got to make these free throws, though. Seventy to sixty Vikings, ten point lead as Slicer hits the first free throw. Will he get it tonight? Never know. Second free throw is good. If not, we're gonna have to make a trip to the Augusta Civic Center. Mid at 50 remaining in the fourth quarter. Vikings lead by 11, 71 to 60. Vikings working around, no good. As Chevers missed the layup. St. Pierre steps on the on the line right in front of Coach Grafham. Unforced hurt over there. Is The sidelines. That'll be a travel on Napolitano. Fleming kept Napolitano. No layup rule there. Kevin Garnett would have been proud. Working around to Varrier. Minute 27 remaining in the fourth quarter, and then you have a foul there. No, they're going to call a travel on Varrier. I'm always amazed that they, they, they call hand checks for the entire game, and then when it gets into the fourth quarter, body checks come in like it's hockey, and that's no big deal. Boudreaux for three, no good, too strong. He's All they got to do is give him the ball four more times. He could get his points. First free throw is good. Six points away from a thousand. Huh. 
I think we all hope that. Second free throw is good. 73 to 60 Vikings. It's going to be Cass, Casal, and and Pudro. Shot is missed there by the Vikings. St. Pierre gets fouled. As Boudreau cracks him. 102 remaining in the fourth quarter. She's not looking. Ah, she did not know. Free throws no good by St. Pierre. 73 to 60, Vikings. 13 point lead, a minute two remaining in the fourth quarter. Chevris got it all the way down to one point. St. Pierre second free throw, no good, violation. Foul. What? Oh wow. And Roberts. Andrew's gonna get two foul shots. Five points away is Andrew Fleming from 1,000 points for his career. That's five on Roberts. A little late there, scorekeepers. Coach Graffin will take a timeout. We'll take one as well. We'll be right back. 73 to 60 Vikings on OXO. This Viking game is brought to you in part by Bolster Monumental Works in Oxford, serving Western Maine since 1877. Choose from a wide selection of monuments in many sizes, colors, and styles, and save money when you buy direct from the craftsman. Plus, Bolster Monumental Works now offers cremation urns. With over 30 years' experience, David does it all. From custom etchings and lettering to set up and cleaning, all services are guaranteed. Visit David at Bolster Monumental Works, 1278 Main Street in Oxford. Welcome back. It's a Maine's Pure Country, OXO, Oxford Hills, Chevre. 73-60 Vikings lead. Andrew Fleming at the line, shooting two. First free throw is good. He is four points away from 10,000. 10, I mean, 1,000. <laughs> That's a lot of points, Matty. That would be. He'd have to play a long time for that. Second free throw is also good. Three points away with a minute remaining in the fourth quarter. 75 to 60 Vikings, 15 point lead. Boudreaux drives in, shots no good, rebound tapped around. And the more fouls that happen here. They gotta get Matthew Fleming on a, on a rebound. At this point, Matthew Fleming is it's just reputation at this point. Yeah. He's a freshman, his last name is Fleming. He's getting the foul. That'll be his fourth. Did a good job. He picked up the first two fouls in like the first couple of minutes of the game. So, wow! Even f the Black Bear North AAU coaches here, big smooth. Oh, oh, wow! I didn't even know he knew where Oxford Hills was. <laughs> Free throws no good by number twelve, Kenny Drellick. Kenny Drellick, excuse me. Kenny, very good football player for Chevrolet Stags. Misses both. Rebound, Fleming. Don't pass it. Get to Flint. Andrew. It looks like they're not going to foul. Oh. <laughs> and the worm just turned there. Three points away. I hope he makes these. And they get it down, and they think he's going to stall, and he goes and hammers it home. I would love to see <laughs> just a... A hammer down. Got to hit both of them, though. Need a towel. That is the smallest towel in history. <laughs> is that a napkin? I don't, I don't know what that was. <laughs> I know one thing Coach Graffin is good at, and that's yelling. He is very, very good at yelling. Towel! <laughs> Heard that in Woodstock. 40.9 <laughs> seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Andrew Fleming is now two points away from 1,000 after that free throw. It's now 76 to 60 Vikings. 
I doink it off the backboard here and catch it, just hammer it. Second free throw's good, one point away. 40 seconds remaining. Looks like uh, they're gonna stall. Oh, of course they will. <laughs> Barrier. Ooh. Little foul there. Send Shevers <laughs> to the line. If I was Andrew, I'd just go get that ball and go. I would too. I hope it's a dunk. I hope it's a dunk. Stay tuned to the end of the game for the best motors play of the game. First free throw by Boudreaux, no good. Free throw too strong. Chevers with the rebound though. Boudreaux with it. <laughs> and the fouls it. Wow. Come on, Skip! 23.3 seconds remaining. 23.3 seconds remaining. Intentional foul called on Cole Varia. And not only they get the ball back too, Matty. So they do the foul again. Unbelievable. And Grafham gets teed up. Good. Seventy seven sixty two Vikings fifteen point lead, free throws being made. You've got an intentional foul and then a technical. And then they get the ball back. Andrew Fleming one point away from a thousand. Oxford Hills desperately trying to get the ball back. Officials not caring about history or getting the thousandth point in front of the home Chevis crowd. Chevis doesn't want the thousandth point. No, they're they do not. Stall ball being down. Right. Two of four at the line. Coach Graff will take a timeout. That'll be a full. <laughs> we'll leave it right here. And I think uh, the plantation heard that. I believe so, right yes. There in Milton, because he just <laughs> screamed it. Timeout! <laughs> let, it, let the official know that he's angry by calling a timeout. Twenty-three point three seconds remaining. 77 to 62. Andrew Fleming has 34 points. He came into the game needing 35 for 1,000. Now his good friend Riley Robinson got it via free throw uh, via the free throw line as well when he got his thousandth. Correct? Yeah, I was I was up there when he did that. They get a foul there on Slicer for Napolitano. Napolitano well, slammed the ball into the crowd. But that'd been Andrew Fleming. That's not but a technical foul. I mean, you, you can't take the ball and throw it into the crowd. You're going to give an intentional foul where, you know, there it was barely anything, and then the kid throws the ball in the crowd, and you're not going to tee him up. That's how it's going to work. So that's if that was Andrew, that would have been a technical. Yes. That's how it was last week when the ball got spun down the hallway. So I'm just going by that rule there. Free throw's no good. He did hand the ball to the official right there. I like he that. did hand the ball directly to the official no, there, which was box, good. Please box out. Please make it. There you go. Okay. See? Matthew Fleming to Slicer. Under 20 seconds remaining. 77 to 63 Vikings. They're double teaming him. This is so Bush League. On the baseline. Out of bounds. 9.4 seconds remaining. That if the, the head coach from Chevres. I throw it up to the rim. Not going to get it. One point away. Nobody's been so, I don't think people have ever been happy. To, and that game's over. That's it. They're not going to call it. Chevres. Falls to Oxford Hills, 77 to 63, but the crowd unimpressed as Andrew Fleming is one point away from a thousand and is not going to get it at home.
Unbelievable. We'll take a break. We'll come back with the post game. I'm pretty sure I already know who the Bessie Motors player of the game is going to be. We'll be right back. This is OXO. Anderson windows and doors are considered the perfect choice for building and remodeling. Anderson products are so energy efficient, weather tight, and durable that they provide peace of mind for builders and homeowners alike. And of course, Hammond Lumber Company is the perfect place to buy Anderson windows and doors for new construction or replacement. The Hammond folks offer factory direct pricing on all Anderson orders. In fact, truckloads of windows and doors come directly to Hammond stores from the Anderson factory. Hammond then delivers your order to you free within striking distance of any Hammond store. And when it comes to replacement windows, Anderson will customize your new window so that it fits right into your old frame. So check out Anderson Windows and Doors from the people at Hammond Lumber. Just call 1-866-HAMMOND toll free or go online to HammondLumber.com. That's 1-866-HAMMOND and HammondLumber.com. Hi, this is Gene Banner of Bessie Motors announcing our continued support of the youth of the Oxford Hills. Once again, Bessie Motors will be sponsoring the player of the game. At Bessie Motors, we feel that lessons learned on the playing field will be valuable in developing our future leaders. Good luck to all of our scholar athletes from Bessie Motors. Bessie Motors, South Paris, Maine. Welcome back. Maine Spear Country OXO. Time for the post-game show. And also time for the Bessie Motors player of the game. I'll give that to you in a second. I assume John Gilson has a scoring recap for us, so we'll go to that. For the Chevrolet stalling stag, <laughs> we have Kenny Drellich with three, Luca Napolitano with seven, Jack Cassell with 18, Jesse Matthews with 11, team high 24 for Austin Boudreau. And for the winning Vikings, we have two for Blake Slicer, four for Cole Verrier, 15 for Matthew Fleming, 10 points for Chris St. Pierre, two points for Trevor Goodrich, 10 points for Jake Beauchene. Team high, game high, one point away from his 1,000th point was Andrew Fleming with 34. That'll do it. Andrew Fleming, your Bessie Motors player of the game with 34 points. That'll do it for us. We'll be back at it on the video side of things from the Augusta Civic Center next week. We're going to travel 35 miles completely out of the way to make sure we catch Andrew getting his 1,000th point. So we'll do that next week up at the Capital City Classic at the Augusta Civic Center. That'll be on the video side of things next week. You can watch that at MBR.org. You can catch the video replay at MBR.org after the game as well. For Chris Hodgkins, back at the Gleason Media Palatial State Studios in beautiful downtown Norway, Maine, keeping us on the air and making sure our levels weren't terrible. Thank you very much. To our undisclosed camera guy, keeping the officials in check. We appreciate that. And to John Gilson, thank you. For Matty Beltwell, that's me. The final score, Oxford Hills, 77-63. Your final score. Merry Christmas, everyone. Seriously, have a very good Christmas. And we'll catch you next week here on OXO for high school basketball. <laughs>